Hey guys, what is going on? Now this video has been long overdue and I know a lot of you have been wondering how on earth do I get some of these apps on an iOS device? Don't worry, I do have a solution for you guys in the name of Sideloadly and Alt Store. Now I'll go over Sideloadly first because I believe it is an easier method and it's kind of been a bit more seamless. Now they do both do the same thing. So you don't really have to worry whether you use one or the other. Um, it's strictly um, up to you and your preference. Now, in the video description below, you will see the link to this forum in iosgods.com. Now, I'm linking you to the specific site because the post continuously gets updated with the latest information on support or changes that they make to this program. Now, the beauty of this app is that there is no jailbreak required for your Apple device. Now, I am an Android user, but I know a bunch of you guys are Apple fans, so this video is for you guys. Now, what you want to do is if you scroll down on the post, you'll see that there is a download option for Windows 64-bit, 32-bit, and there is even a Mac OS download. Now, make sure you use the appropriate download link. Now, majority of you guys running Windows will most likely just need the 64-bit download. It's going to go ahead and download it to um, wherever you have your download set up to. I have all of mine set up to my desktop because it's a lot easier for me. Now, another thing that you want to do before running Sideloadly is you want to make sure that you download the official iTunes version. Now, you don't want the one that's um, from your Windows Store. Um, so make sure that you um, use the download link in the forum itself or I will I will just give you guys a straight download link in the description below. Now, I'm going to make sure I download the 64-bit and that's going to go ahead and download too. Now, once you have the uh, setup downloaded, go ahead and install iTunes if you haven't already. Now, you will get a pop-up. Um, you might have some permissions. Um, just go ahead and click on oh, this trick your internet. Blah, blah, blah. Just say run for me. And then you're going to have a Windows installer come up and it's going to go ahead and install the necessary items. Now, you're going to get to the welcome to iTunes screen. Go ahead, click next. Um, do whatever you may must here, click on install, click on yes, and then just go ahead and wait for it to finish installing. Now once you're done, you can go ahead and click on finish to exit the installer. And then if you had it checked off, it might just open up iTunes for you. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm just going to click. Um, you will see your Apple ID and your password. You can go ahead and sign into the iTunes store that way. And that's about it. So let's X this out for now. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to open up that side loadly uh, setup. Um, go ahead and click on next and make sure you put it in whatever folder that you want. Click on next and then click on install. Once it's done, um, it's going to have two check marks on and you can go ahead and click on finish. Now you'll see. Uh, side loadly come up on your desktop and there it is now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put your Apple account in there um, whatever um, device that you're using make sure you go into the settings and find the appropriate Apple account and you paste it in there now once you're up on the screen what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and connect your iOS device to your computer now I'm gonna be using my iPod uh, my iPad as a reference now, once you plug it in, you might get a pop-up message right away on your, um, your iOS device saying, um, should you trust this computer? You're gonna go ahead and click on trust. Um, if it doesn't show up right away, you can actually open up iTunes and it will give you the prompt right away on whatever device that you have connected as well. Now, once you go ahead and click on trust, um, it's gonna ask you to enter your device password if you have one, and then you can see how um, it changed over here to Justin's iPad, um, the firmware version and everything. Now once that's done, I will give you guys a link of places where there are libraries for IPAs that are available. I will make sure that I put them in the description below. But for our uh, purposes for this video, I'm actually going to be downloading something off of GitHub. Now this is called ACNH Mobile Spawner. This is, it, um, this is actually an application for um, the game Animal Crossing. Now you can see that there are a couple of download options here. There's an APK, uh, a Mac, 
version, a Windows version, and then you'll see that there's actually an IPA. You can go ahead and click on that and it'll download. Um, and then that's going to be the one that we're going to be installing on our iOS device for this video. Now, once you're done here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just drag and drop that IPA file over to the uh, side load app application. And then you can go ahead and click on start. Now, once you do um, the very first time, it's going to go ahead and uh, check your Apple ID and then it's going to actually ask you for your password. Now, it's very important that you put your password in. Um, this is the only time that it will ask you for your password. So make sure that you do that. Once you're all done, um, you should be able to see the application on your iOS device. Um, I will switch over to my iPad so that you guys can see it actually working on my iPad. Hey guys, now I'm on my iPad right now and you'll see that the ACNH Spawner is the very last app and that's the app that we actually installed onto our iPad during this video. Now if you go ahead and try and click on it, what you're going to see is that there is a pop-up that comes up that says untrusted developer. Now you will need to enable this in order for the app to work. Now the first time I did try to do this I was kind of like bedazzled, had no idea where to go for this. So if, you're, if you find yourself um, using an iOS device for the first time, you can go to the settings option and you want to go to the general. And what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and click on device management. Um, it's literally right under the VPN on the iPad. Once you click on that, you're gonna um, you're gonna see something where it says developer app and your email, um, and then you're gonna see the app that was downloaded and verified, and you're gonna go ahead and just click on trust. Once you do that, it's gonna have another pop up that comes up that says trust iPhone developer so and so, and you can go ahead and click on trust here as well. Now, once you're done with that, you can go back to the main menu and you can try opening up that app again and if done correctly you will see it come up and working as intended and that's it now that does conclude my video now i'd really greatly appreciate it if you guys do like my content to go ahead and click on subscribe and like my video and i will definitely see you guys on the next one take care